All right, friends, this is super important. Make sure you're careful and follow it exactly. The first step is I need you to double click on MT Tools. When it launches, it will look similar to this and I need you to double click on blank.phz. Yours may just say blank. On this screen, we need to click try an app and then you must scroll all the way to the bottom. Click this checkbox to always use the app to open the PC and then we need to look for the other app we're going to use. On the PC, we move back to C colon Windows, we find the fun folder and then move to the one that just says PHUN and click it and choose open. And it will launch the awesome Fun Physics Simulator and you can continue the training. Fun is a physics simulator that lets us build amazing things. Roll your scroll wheel so the one meter mark looks a bit like that. I want you to click on the box creation tool and I want you to just simply draw a box and then hit play to let it fall. Click the hand which lets you pick things up and drop them but I don't want you to. I just want you to click it and I want you to hit clone. I want you to wait a second and then hit clone again, wait a second and hit clone again, and wait a second and hit clone again. That gives you five of those and then hit play and use the hand to push them together. When yours is like that, you can click them one at a time, check to make sure your neighbors are successful and then head to the next step. Today we're going to build an amazing tower easily using clones. Start by grabbing the rectangle tool and drawing a large rectangle around the entire project. Notice if I just grab one piece and it's touching the others, I only get the one. If I select all of two but miss the third, it's got those. If I select the entire thing with a large box, then I've selected them all. If I accidentally just touch a little, it draws a cube and I can just undo it. When you're sure you have them all selected, click clone. And then while they're still selected, use the move tool to click and lift them up and set them in a nice stack on top of your current tower. Press the play button so that they settle and they're really sitting on each other. And then do the process again where you select all of those with a large rectangle. Then with them selected, click clone. And while they've still got the white selection arrows, use the move tool to stack that on top of the other set. Press play to let them settle. We need to stop with a four piece tower and I want you to right click and drag the space to the right. You can zoom out a little bit so that you're ready for the next part of the project. It's time to make a second kind of tower, but this one we're gonna build a special way. Make sure you've got your world paused. Draw a rectangle that just grabs the top five. Remember it's fine to touch the next five. It only grabs what's totally selected click clone, move it a little bit to the right. If you roll your scroll wheel back and you right click drag, you can get it focused on your screen. When you hit play, let it settle down. Make sure you've got it paused again. Clone again. Lift that new stack up while it's selected and set it so it's staggered halfway on your project. Click on the last one. So notice I want to select just one piece. If yours are all selected my, like mine are, that is a bummer. So you can fix that real quickly by clicking the selection choice and choosing ungroup. Now I can click just one of those. I do need to click this next group. If you make one accidentally, you can delete it. And I'm going to just click it and do selection. And I'm also going to do ungroup there. So now I've got one piece at a time. And what I can do with this is I can find the scale tool and I want to make it so that my brick fits perfectly. So I'm just grabbing the middle handle, not the corner ones because that shrinks two directions, two dimensions at once. And then I scale it perfectly. I clone that little critter, grab it and set it on the other side. If you look at a real building, you'll notice that most buildings are built with these staggered bricks instead of these towers and you're going to find out why as we continue. Let's finish this part of the project by selecting that whole group and cloning it again, lifting it up on top, 
and pressing play to let it settle. You now have two nifty towers, both built two different ways. Make sure your neighbors are successful as well, and then head to the next section of training. Alright, so let's continue our techniques here. I'll zoom out, grab your staggered tower, and slide it to the right so you have a little bit more space. Let's quickly hit play so that it settles and pause. And then I want you, with it selected, to click that clone button and bring it up on top. So now we've got eight. Hit play and let that settle. I'm going to pause again. I'm going to select it all. And I'm going to clone that so I'm eight rows high. Always hit play so it settles. Pause. And then do the same trick for your other tower. Clone. While it's still white, grab it, set it on top, play pause, grab it again, set it on top, clone, and you've got two 16 high towers. If something bad happens, you can always undo. If you're just joking about the bad happening, I'm going to let that settle again. You can also hit redo. Uh, those are ways to fix, to fix things that could go wrong. If your tower is leaning, you can put a block in between them, and while the world's playing, you can nudge that to it to make it a little bit stronger. If you think it uh, sounds like fun, you can uh, switch to the hand tool. You can grab the world, and you can bring it down and slam it up, which is a lot of fun to watch, but that is not our project today, so you can just undo and bring it back. So your challenge today is to see how tall you can make each tower and see which one stays upright the longest. Have fun building that, and when you're done, make sure you come up with a theory for which one of these was a smarter way to build. And then you can finish with this awesome part of the project where you zoom out and you take a ball, and when you hit play, you drop it on your cool towers and see what happens. You can have fun exploring. Remember, after you break it, you can always undo to go back and get it back to one piece. We don't save this project. We're just learning how the system works today. Uh, have fun exploring, and uh, make sure when you're talking to people, tell them about how much fun you had using the fun physics simulator today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.